Some of our IP security cameras support live streaming directly to Twitch. Twitch does not require an audio stream, so even a camera without a microphone or mic input can live stream on the internet. You're going to need a live stream account on twitch.tv using an email address, username, and password. You're also going to want to go to the web interface for your security camera. Here you can see I've logged into the default IP address for our security cameras. Last but not least, you're going to want to open up a notepad so you can copy and paste your stream key. First, we're going to go to the Twitch website. And then inside of the Twitch website, we're going to click on our profile icon at the top right hand side. And then we're going to click on the creator dashboard. It's going to take us to the back end user settings for our stream. And then we're going to want to go to the stream manager tab on the left hand side. Inside of the stream manager tab, we're going to want to go to the edit stream info button. And here you can give your stream a title. Here I'm just going to name it live stream test. And then I'm going to click done. It's going to update the stream title. Now, in order to start streaming, I'm going to need to go to the settings tab and then the stream option. Here, there is going to be a primary stream key that I'll need to show. Click OK to allow it to show. Then I'm going to need to click the copy button. It's going to copy it to my clipboard on my computer. I'm going to open my notepad. I'm going to right click and click paste. This is going to be your stream key for your Twitch stream. We're going to need to pair this with what's called an ingest server URL from Twitch. So I'm going to open a new tab, go to google.com, and Google Twitch ingest server. Here is a first link called Twitch ingest recommendations on Twitch TV. Here we can see there are a lot of different options. There's US East Ashburn, Virginia, another Ashburn, Virginia location, in New York City. These locations, however, are chosen based on the test that the web page runs when you first open it. You will want to make sure you select one of the best options that's listed at the top of the recommendations list. Ashburn, Virginia is the closest ingest server to where I am in the United States, and you will want to select one of these options, which is the closest to you in the United States, for the best performance. So I'm going to copy everything up until it says stream key. And then I'm going to right click, click copy, come back down to my notepad, I'm going to hit the enter key, and then I'm going to paste. To finish creating my RTMP URL, I'm going to copy this again, I'm going to enter down, I'm going to right click and paste, then I'm going to copy my stream key by highlighting it, right clicking, clicking copy, and then after the RTMP, URL, I can right click and paste. Now I've successfully created my RTMP URL. If you are tech savvy, you'll be able to create this URL a lot quicker. However, I'm just showing how you can copy and paste it and then combine them together. So I'm going to need to copy this whole stream key by right clicking and clicking copy. Now I can finally go to the tab where I'm logging into my camera and then log into my camera. I'm just using the default username and password from the factory. I'm going to click login to log in. It's going to pull up the stream from my camera. And to enable live streaming, I'm going to first need to go to the settings tab at the top right hand side. I'm going to need to go to the network and then TCP IP settings. You want to make sure that you do have valid DNS settings in here. We recommend using the 8.8.8.8 for the preferred DNS and 8.8.4.4 for the alternate DNS. The second setting you want to make sure that it's enabled is under access platform and then P2P. You want to check this box to enable it and click the save button and then click the refresh button until you receive an online status. After a few seconds, of refreshing, I received an online status, and this means my camera is now ready to stream to Twitch. To finish starting that stream, I will need to click on the RTMP tab, 
Click this checkbox to enable the RTMP stream. Click the address type as custom. And then right click to paste my stream key. I'm going to click save. It's going to give me a prompt saying that it needs to push the video to third party servers. And since we trust Twitch and we know it's going to our Twitch account, I'm going to click OK. It's going to say it's saved, succeeded, and we should be able to see the stream being sent to Twitch. So in order to check that out, we're going to click on the Twitch tab. We're going to go to the Stream Manager tab on the left-hand side. It says the video download was canceled. Please try again. In which case, it means that Twitch is accepting our video and now is attempting to encode the video to stream on its website. It may take a few minutes for it to ingest the 4K stream from our camera, and we can click here to reload the player, or we can type in our Twitch URL to check out our live stream. So I'm going to type twitch.tv forward slash CCTV camera world. I'm going to hit enter, and it may take some time for it to encode the 4K stream, we're going to click reload and I'll continue the video once the stream has finished encoding. All right, I just had to refresh the stream for about 30 seconds. And finally, Twitch was able to ingest our 4K stream and stream it on the Twitch website. If I come down here to the gear icon and go to the quality option, I can see that we're streaming in 2160p which is full 4K video. Hopefully this video helps you get your live stream on Twitch. Thank you for watching.